Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm excited to share my content with you, and I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on my latest videos. Let's get started. In this video we are going to see about how to get rid of belly fat during menopause. Some people call menopause the change of life, which is an accurate description. Along with mood swings and hot flashes, menopause can cause belly fat, even in people who work out a lot and eat well in general. People usually think that menopause starts a year after their last period. The beginning of menopause is over. Elizabeth Ward, MS, RDN, a registered dietitian and co-author of the Menopause Diet Plan, a natural guide to managing hormones, health, and happiness, says that women tend to gain weight around their middles during perimenopause. Before perimenopause, when women gained weight, their hips and thighs got bigger. Ward says that a natural drop in estrogen, along with other changes that happen around midlife, like the loss of bone and muscle tissue and a slight slowing of the metabolism, can lead to weight gain and changes in body composition. She has been through it and written a book about it, so she knows that body changes can be confusing, frustrating, and downright disappointing. Even though you can't turn back time, there are many habits you can change that may affect the belly fat that comes with menopause. Here's what you need to know about midlife and how to get rid of menopause-related belly fat. Here are some ways that menopausal women can lose belly fat. 1. Maximize sleep. Every night, adults need at least 7 hours of sleep, but Ward says it might be harder to get that much sleep than it sounds. As women get closer to menopause, their sleep patterns change because hot flashes can make it hard to fall asleep, stay asleep, and get enough sleep. Ward says, one study found that perimenopausal women are more likely than postmenopausal women to sleep for less than seven hours a night. She says, however, that you should first try to sleep. Ward says that getting regular, restful sleep is linked to a healthy weight and other signs of good health. Even one or two nights of bad sleep can make the hormone ghrelin, which makes you feel hungry, go up and the hormone leptin, which makes you feel full, go down. 2. Make it easier to use insulin. When your muscle, fat, and liver cells can't use the glucose in your blood as easily as they should, you have insulin resistance. Your pancreas has to make more and more insulin to help you. Ward says that as people age, their insulin resistance gets worse. So, the American Diabetes Association says, beginning at age 35, all adults without risk factors should be checked for prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. She says, the research isn't clear yet, but it's possible that falling levels of estrogen have something to do with insulin resistance. Insulin resistance can also be caused by gaining too much weight and not getting enough exercise. 3. To lose weight, eat less. If your belly fat is caused by menopause, you should start by looking at what you eat. We tend to move around less as we get older, but our habits and appetites usually don't change to make up for this. If the number on the scale is going up or your clothes don't fit as well as they used to, you might want to change what you eat. 4. Eat more plants and proteins and less sugar. Ward says the menopause is a good time to think about how you eat in general. She says, I had to do this myself when I was going through perimenopause and gained 10 pounds, most of which went to my stomach. A balanced diet will help counteract the changes that happen during midlife and menopause and make women feel more energized and positive about this time in their lives, she says. It looks like she thinks. This type of diet is made up of plant-based foods that are high in fiber. At least 0.55 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. At least 5 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Every day, eat 3 servings of whole grains. Don't drink more than one drink a day, and try to drink less if you can. 5. Lessen your stress. You may also be able to lose the belly fat that comes with menopause if you learn to deal with your stress. When your daily stress is too high, your body makes more of the stress hormone cortisol, which can cause you to store more water and gain more belly fat. Ward says the problem keeps getting worse because stress makes it hard to sleep. The study of women's health across the nation, SWAN, Sleep study found that it's hard to get enough sleep when you're always stressed, she says. Tiredness and stress that doesn't go away can make people do things that make it harder to control their weight, like drink too much and eat fatty and sugary foods like ice cream, cookies, and chips when they're stressed. 6. Exercise regularly. 
Those who are resistant to insulin may feel better if they stay busy. Working out uses up the sugar in your blood, so you don't need as much insulin, says Ward. Insulin is needed more by people who are overweight. Studies show that if you lose 5 to 7 percent of your body weight, your risk of insulin resistance, which can lead to type 2 diabetes over time, goes down a lot. The best exercises to get rid of a menopause belly. The best ways to get rid of visceral fat are to change your diet, eat more protein and less simple carbs, and lift heavier weights. Strength training is most important at this time of life because it can help counteract the effects of falling estrogen. Cardio exercises. HIT, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training, is a better way to do cardio than long, steady endurance. Long-term cardio can actually raise cortisol levels, which can make it hard to sleep and cause insulin resistance. She likes to cycle fast for 30 seconds inside and then rest for one minute. Plyometrics and jumping can also help. She says, jumping exercises are also very important at this age because they make the ligaments and tendons work harder. Just make sure to get better at plyometrics slowly so you can get the most out of it without hurting yourself. Core and abdominal exercises. Menopause-related belly fat can't be lost just by doing core exercises. To do that, you'll need to burn more calories and lose fat all over your body. But doing ab exercises can help you get stronger and give your core and stomach a more toned look. Baldini likes planks, which are exercises that anyone can do, no matter how fit they are. Getting stronger. About half of a woman's bone loss happens in the 10 years after menopause. This can speed up or cause sarcopenia, loss of muscle mass. Lifting weights can help with both. Do squats, deadlifts, and kettlebell swings with heavier weights and fewer reps to keep your bones strong. The belly fat that comes with menopause is a frustrating sign that life is always changing. Right now, my life is changing. Choose foods that are good for you. Take quiet time. Meditate. Breathe. Every night, go to bed at the same time. Get some heavy things. Not all changes go through the same steps. Take care of your bones, brain, heart, and mental health during perimenopause and after it. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on my latest videos. Until next time, take care.